G'day guys, how are you going? Declan from Elros Caravans here. Another video. Uh, this time we're going to be uh, talking today about our chassis. Obviously it is the most fundamental uh, aspect of the caravan build itself. Uh, it all starts here. If you don't have a good foundation, you're not going to have a good caravan at the end of the day. So um, this is a very serious uh, element and aspect that we take here at Elros. Uh, this chassis is obviously our own design. Uh, we've developed this over um, 35 plus years of, uh, of factory experience. Um, obviously small tweaks and design changes along the way, but the overall design philosophy hasn't changed in that sort of time. So um, basically we'll start with the main chassis rail. We use a 150 by 50 by three. Uh, the whole chassis is Duragal steel. Um, so it's already gouged, um, however obviously the, the whole chassis goes through um, a process where we um, wrap the coat it as an option um, and it, that just offers obviously additional um, protection and obviously it looks a, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing as well. Um, but yeah, main rail 150 by 50 by 3 um, and you can see that the whole entire chassis is a box tube chassis design. So we could probably um, go a little bit lighter in some areas and, and do some C-sectional stuff. Um, but you know, this has served us well for over 35 years, as we've said. So if, the, if it ain't broke, in some cases, don't fix it. Chassis are one of them. Um, all of our chassis are designed and engineered to meet ADR 62. Um, so um, we've got all of the approvals for, for that sort of process there. And then we've got a lot of laser cut things that we get done um, by our laser cutters, such as our, our, um, our attachment points for, for your, uh, for your hammer locks, um, all of our gussets and weld plates, uh, as well as even our handbrake cables as well. Um, through the centre section of the chassis, um, we obviously have 150 main bearers. Um, they're going to take the load of the, the Cruise Master suspensions that we fit underneath the caravans. In this case, this is a um, this is an ECX chassis, and what it's having fitted on there is um, XT uh, uh, airbag. Sorry, uh, on that. So so that's what this van's set up for, and obviously a, a keen eyed. Uh, consumer is going to notice that on our chassis we also run these uh, speed holes so to speak um, what they're actually for is so we can run all of our gas pipe work uh, waste hose uh, etc and we can make sure that we keep them up and out of the way um, of the main chassis uh, and then that way if you go for our um, bash plate protection package you're gonna have um, you're gonna have all of that sort of stuff tucked up up under there, under this um, main area where the where it's exposed to the wheels and, and whatnot. Um, all of our all of our rotor molded tanks are then fitted via um, these uh, nylon bolts. And then as we come further back down the, the, to the chassis, obviously we, we build a step box as well. So um, we have a step element that's built into our chassis so you're not, you're not entering into the van at a ludicrously high height like some manufacturers do. Obviously it's a little bit easier um, when you're manufacturing a chassis if you've just got a totally flat floor. Um, but you know we want the customers to have a good experience and we think a, a step floor is, is fundamental in the design of a chassis. It adds a little bit of weight. We'd rather have extra weight and extra sturdiness in our chassis than, than anything else uh, than weight saving, so to speak. Uh, as we come down to the back here, these are our spare wheel mounts. Um, we obviously fabricate them into the actual chassis design itself, so that's how we can get the flush fit look that you see here. And basically, we just have a stud uh, bracket that's on the external that then bolts over those bolts and then fits the fits the tire onto that. So it's a nice clean look on the outside of the van. Of course, at the back of the van, we've also got um, uh, hitch points that are welded and fabricated into the chassis. Um, that just makes it a little bit easier if you've ever got a situation where you want a wire strap or you need to pull out on a track 
someone can hitch up from the back and at least get you out of the pickle that way. Um, one of the final elements that I'll talk about is where we fit our uh, EPS panel, uh, wall panel, is we actually fit these over and slide them over this chassis rail here. It's a 50 by 50 by 1.6 mil rail. And that's why we run it straight over the wheel box as well. So we've got an attachment right the way through, uh, including the wheel box area there. Um, and yeah, that's quite different to a lot of manufacturers there as well, where they either have a Z section or they just have a drop in where it just sits on the side of the chassis. We're actually sleeving our floor, uh, our walls straight over our um, chassis before we actually lay the floor as well, which is a quite quite a different um, building technique there as well. And then finally, just this element here, that's just uh, where, your, where your bin plating and stamping occurs on the chassis itself there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that tour of, um, of an Elros chassis. Uh, like I said, quite a different build philosophy than a lot of the um, regular manufacturers out there. This, this is a tried and tested design. Um, you know, we don't try and skip corners in terms of weight savings or anything like that. It's fundamentally important for us to make sure that we're building the strongest possible chassis out there that will last 30 plus years. Um, that's why as a small business, we put a, a 10 year warranty on our chassis straight off the bat um, and we guarantee them for that lifetime. All right, so thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and join us for the next installment. Cheers.